A Republican candidate for the House of Representatives from North Carolina named Mark Walker was speaking at a conservative event in June, and he was asked how he would secure the southern border. Now, his answer is crazy, even by Republican standards. He said this, quote, My first answer is, we're going to utilize the National Guard as much as we can. But I will tell you, if you have foreigners who were sneaking in with drug cartels, to me that is a national threat. And if we've got to laser or blitz somebody with a couple of fighter jets for a little while to make our point, I don't have a problem with that either. Bomb Mexico. You want to bomb Mexico. Now, if that was a little too muddled and unclear, the Daily Coast reports that there was an off-camera person that chimed in and asked, do you have any qualms about starting up a little war with Mexico? Now, keep in mind, this is a conservative event. The person that asked was a conservative. So it wasn't like a derogatory, like, oh, you don't have qualms of starting a war with Mexico? It was like, would you be okay with starting a war with Mexico? It was like a positive, like, yes, we get to kill people, yes! What was his response? Quote, Well, we did it before. If we need to do it again, I don't have a qualm about it. There are no words. There are no words. War with Mexico. You want to do war with Mexico. The thing that's so frustrating about this all, other than the brazen stupidity and idiocy. It's the fact that they're totally clueless as to why people keep coming into the United States of America. It's not because we're oh so special and we sprinkle fairy dust every Wednesday. It's because their countries are in shitty condition. Why are their countries in shitty condition? The drug war! The drug war! Since we've started the war on drugs and we've criminalized everything under the sun and uh, we've been fighting a literal war on drugs in the sense that 60,000 people have died on the Mexico border because of this, right? As a result of that, you have strengthened the cartels. When you ban drugs, you give the cartels a monopoly on drugs, and they get incredibly wealthy and powerful as a result of it. By the way, the same thing happened when we did prohibition in the United States of alcohol. That's how the mafia got incredibly powerful, because you banned alcohol so law-abiding small businesses and regular businesses couldn't sell it anymore, so then you had to go underground and only criminals would make it and sell it, and they got super rich and super powerful. The same thing's happening with Mexico and uh, Central America. So, it's our policies that fucked up those places by making them more violent and making the cartels incredibly powerful, more powerful than the governments in those areas. So there's anarchy, basically. There's anarchy. And then these people want to have a shot at a decent life like any normal person would, so what do they do? They take an amazingly dangerous trip, usually, you know, going all the way from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and then they come all the way up through Mexico to try to get in here. And then what happens? They have Republicans. They're like, we're going to kick you out, and then after we kick you out, we're going to bomb your ass. Yeah. How about you fix the root of the problem instead of making it worse and bombing people? That's their answer. Everything is just bomb. Uh, do we have something to shoot them with? Let's just shoot people. No, how about you at least decriminalize drugs or you actually should legalize drugs and this way you take the power away from the cartels. The governments can become more modernized in Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, you name it, right? And then there wouldn't be as many people trying to rush to come to the United States because their countries would be all hunky-dory and whatnot. But no, according to them, my idea is the radical one. The less radical idea is, let's use fighter jets and shoot people. <laughs>